Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be working on my new E39 528i manual. As you saw in a previous video, this car is quite stock except from those coilovers and the already welded diff. So today it is time to upgrade this car some more. I will swap a lot on this car, so I think this will be a great project for the winter. And I have already purchased a lot of parts. They are taking really long time in the mail, so that sucks. But anyways, first thing that really needs to be swapped out is the wheels. I mean, this could probably be the ugliest wheels BMW has ever produced. I don't know. Tell me in the comments what you think of these, but I do not like them at all. So today we are actually going to put the awesome wheels from my E34 onto this. For four years I have been having only two wheels of the awesome type, but now I actually found two more. So now we have a complete set. We now have four awesome tires, so we can have awesome all around on this car. And we're going to fix something really quick with the lights. I don't like that the park lights is lighting up and together with the headlights and I do have Xenon lights. So that is kind of bluish and my park lights is kind of yellowish. Now good. Maybe we are going to also try to swap out the steering wheel today. I'm not sure yet. I do have a hub laying at home, so we'll see if that fits. Uh, just to test, of course, it's just a test. I, I will just temporarily, I will not have a drifting steering wheel in this comfortable and nice E39. Maybe later I will swap the interior as well. And uh, yeah, I'm really liking this car already. I think it's a really good car. It does have a sunroof actually. And I mean, it does have some rust here and there, but I mean, it's looking all right. The color is also Aspen silver. I think that looks pretty good. I just thought that I would give you like a walk around of the car before we start doing too much modifications. So I can look back at this when the car is finished. I don't know how long it will take, but I will get a lot of upgrades in the next coming weeks. So there will be a lot of videos on this car. That beautiful M52 B28 is looking pretty good, but it's 193 horsepower and 280 newton meters of torque. But now let's go to and weigh the car and then swap out the tires. Nothing is happening. This is not doing anything. Okay, we are on the scale with the 39 and the scale is... Ooh, that's quite a lot. Look at that. It's saying 1,650 times. 165. That's quite a lot actually. This is what I mean about the headlights as well. It looks like I'm running with like high beams, but I'm not. So let's just disconnect these park lights and I think this front end will look a little bit better. Let's just do it real quick. So we have some connectors right here. I think it's this one. Like that. We put that down there. Yeah. Now it's letting. Unplug it, put it down there. Close the hood. Yeah, a lot better because now it doesn't like, it's not different colors. I see that the Xenon bulbs is kind of bad, but I'm gonna replace the headlights anyways. Yeah, looks a lot better. Now, let's start swapping over the wheels. We are back home and we are today going to mount these wheels, which I just picked up. I'm going to put those in the rear on this E39 and we're going to put these ones in the front. So I'm just going to have to take those off and put up on there. But I'm going to save you some time. Let's just do the classical YouTube way and do like this. There we go. Now we got the Rondell replicas in the front and in the back. This car really needs a clean though, but I'm going to do that later. We're finally got one, two, three, four. I like that. Time to jack up the car, get this wheel off and then mount the new awesome wheel. One thing I forgot to tell you, it was actually snow last night. But sadly today came a lot of rain and it's all gone away. So I don't know when the next snowfall will be, but hopefully soon. Here, here we actually have a space 
spacer. So yeah, you can't fit always to E39, so you have to have an adapter spacer because E39 have some weird like diameters right here. It's like 74.1 or something. And regular BMWs are 72.6. So yeah. But here we have the AP coilovers in the front as you see looking pretty good. spacer on yet so we are going to mount this spacer right now and then you simply use your OEM lug nuts to tighten that spacer and then we have some other lug nuts like this I will probably replace those so I will have the same as I have in the front those seem more safe than this so yeah I will buy new ones of this so you simply make sure the surface here is all right we should probably have some sandpaper but I don't so I will simply just Mount it like so, take these and simply just tighten them in, yeah, just like that. And then we can mount my ET30 awesome wheel here, which with 20 millimeter spacer makes it ET10. That's a good offset for the 5 series. As you see, we have bags in the back here, it's not coilovers, but I will probably swap the coilovers, that means changing the shock right here and this replace this with a spring instead and that will be adjustable but I like the right height in the back so I will not do it like immediately but maybe do it later I don't know and oh yeah that's a lot better finally some cooler wheels looking good Now it's time to swap out the air knob, the one right there, that wooden one, put it in second gear. To pull off this you just have to pull as hard as you possibly can and don't hit yourself. Oy, there we go. Maybe I have gotten stronger over the years. I remember when I was 17 or 18, this was really hard but this was actually quite simple today. Okay, so new. One tap, oh yeah, firm and good. I would like to get something that's shorter, but I mean, this works. This works. Now I'll take it for a short test drive and see if the wheels are okay and fill it with some air. And then afterwards, maybe see if we can swap out the steering wheel today as well. Oof, that really feels good. Damn. I'm glad I saved that one, kind of cool. So let's just put that one in there. Oh yeah, I like that. Seems fine. We're going in 55 kilometers an hour. It's not shaking anything. I like that. Wheels are the number one thing that really changes the appearance of the car. In my opinion, at least. I mean, that's the, like, the easiest thing you can do to make a car stand out. And I mean, compared to those original E39 wheels I had, this is looking a lot better. Oh yeah. Also in the back and also in the front. I like that. I like that. Finally, after four years, I have the same awesome wheels in the front and the back. Finally. Oh my god. That looks very good. I'm really happy about the height too. It looks so good with the lowered in the front. Now it looks like a much cooler car. Now it doesn't look that OEM anymore. When I get some new headlights, it will be even better with some angel eyes. And when I get new lights in the back, it will be better. And yeah. It's looking really, really good. Let's see if we can mount that steering wheel. Okay, so what you need to do is simply remove two bolts with using like 
torques. I think this is it. That's what it's called. There we go. That's one. Just like that. That is it. I assume that's a 16. It's usually 16. And now you should have your steering wheel straight. Like so. There we go. Oh, damn. Oh, damn it. I don't know if I can unplug. Oh yeah, you can unplug that. It's quite easy actually. This is very exciting. Can you fit an E36 hub on an E39? I think you can, but I'm not sure. And if I can, this is temporarily, I think. Because I do want the cruise control, but I'm just curious to see. Okay. I think this is going to be an issue. How do you... Oh, I remember I did something bad on my E46. I don't remember how to remove that without breaking it. That was a bad sound! It said some cracks. No good. Ah, terrible. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, it's not on there. This is not safe at all. I mean... The idea of having this steering wheel in an E39, dope. I like it. Looks so cool. Would be awesome if I got this in there. But um, let's conclude. E36 hub does not fit properly. You can remove that thing in the back here, but I have trauma doing that on my E46. So I actually had to find from a parts car a new part because I broke that part. So I don't want to do that now because I'm kind of tired and. Yeah, so let's just mount that original steering wheel again. And um, yeah, my GoPro camera right there actually went out of power. That sucks, but I am maybe going to start using this on regular on this channel. Tell me what you think of the footage from today. It's all been on GoPro. Everything has been on that camera. So tell me what you think, if it's good or if I should stick with the one I'm filming on right now. My Canon, uh, yeah, we do have an airbag lamp right now, even though I connected the airbag again, I don't know what I need to do, maybe take a, yeah, I need to erase that code. I will fix that another day. Uh, the steering wheel did not fit at all, and I will not get a drifting steering wheel in here. Maybe if I can do some more research and figure out if I can actually remove that part behind the steering wheel, then maybe, I don't know. For now, I think I'm just gonna keep that E39 steering wheel. Maybe buy an E46 M Sport steering wheel or a different E39 steering wheel. I don't know, but uh, it's all right, the one I have right here. A little bit of upgrades was done today. I'm happy about that. And I will continue to find out more about what's broken on this car. And I pr will probably find some more things. And by, like I said, I will have to fix the e-brake later. I will have to fix the wiper, rear window wiper and uh, the climate panel right here is not working properly because when i push it like yeah now see it like this button is no good so i need to change the panel or maybe i can lubricate behind here i don't know maybe i'm going to buy like a screen here i don't know but yeah, anyways, I am really happy about this car and really happy about today. It looks really cool with the Asa wheels. Not so stoked about that airbag lamp, but whatever. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.